Great new day, great new day. Peace and tranquility and power over you and all of your houses. Yes, yes, this is a beginning of a new week, a new shift for many, myself included, and I pray for strength, endurance, wisdom, and light over you all and myself. It is really time, if one hasn't done so already, to clear space for yourself. You have control over any triggers that exist. There isn't a need to worry about who understands you or who doesn't. At the end of the day, ask yourself about the direct impact the external things have in your life. Some folks' currency is to just be angry and miserable. Leave them where they stand if it jacks up your vibe. There is no pleasing everyone. No matter what, they're going to find the smudge on your newly waxed car. They live for that. You, I, am not required to hold space for foolishness. The new authenticity has turned into holding a bitch fest out of things that haven't any meaningful trajectory while contributing not a thing towards solutions. Just a bunch of talk. Y'all stay right there. Declare today, tomorrow be the beginning of ceasing longing yesterdays. What does that mean? I once read, I'm not going to relive that one episode from my past for the next 75 years. Where do we go? Where where do we go? Reliving the same trauma, or even if it's not trauma, if It's a victory story. Okay, we can relish in victory. And now what? Now what? Can't stay stuck on that either. Resting on our laurels. There was a spoken word piece I penned called Tongue Wrestling. Let's talk, do. Let's talk, do. Right? Not giving value to the words you spew. You get the premise. You get the premise. So, we move on. We move on as we always do. Distractions out of the way. Be great. Be great. Not for others' approval, but for your own satisfaction to yourself, your higher self, whatever, whoever you call God. You know, we can get tripped up over that stuff too. You know, I'm not going to put anyone down and I don't expect anyone to try to step on my neck. You know, let's just not get into each other's way. And we have been so conditioned. I've been told that our purpose here is for two things. To love God with all your heart and to make disciples. Really? Mm. Well, I beg to differ. And there are nuances to that. 
you know, and the person who constantly says that to me for for her life, that might work. I dig that, you know, I dig that. Do no harm. Don't push that. What is freedom? Freedom is not what you're going to dictate to me as freedom. That works for you. I mean, the same way as people might have voted in this uh, election. We're not going to get into the good, bad of it all. But the bottom line is, when people cast the ballot, you didn't cast the ballot for me as much as one would like to put themselves up on a pedestal and try to act like they did. No, no, you didn't do that for me. You did it for what's in your own personal best interest, or at least what you believe is in your best interest. Some people are just one issue voters. And there are some who do think about the greater good. They have good intentions. But there was a time in the history of the United States that mm, people had good intentions and yet we had physical chains and they used the Bible to try to back that up. So damn spot we can't ignore that bloody stain that won't come out especially if you don't acknowledge it we had a conversation yesterday with a neighbor and the amount of disinformation disinformation that the person had it's like whoa when does basic common sense step in it was amazing and normally you know we'll just let people go about their way whatever because you know (laughs) again am I going to put energy into that what effect does this person really have in my life but then sometimes Sometimes it's like, no, no, something that's so blatant must be addressed because that's how so many conspiracy theories and foolishness starts to grow and grow and snowball and go viral because no one's checking it. No one's checking it. And it doesn't need to be an argument. What's there to argue about? What happened to the times that you could just reason together? You know? I feel when people get so angry that they have to yell and shout at each other, it's because they lack the intelligence, the basic intelligence, just to articulate their point of view. So, what does a child or an animal do when they need or want something and the person they're trying to relay a message to isn't understanding? They thrash around, they cry, they whine, they kick. They sc- you get it. Is that where we're at? <sighs> Every new day, I awaken in peace. It's a good life. It's a beautiful life. It's what you make it. It's what you make it. You go on social media and I'm like, dang, first thing. People moaning, complaining, and 
just spewing such vileness for what? For what? For likes? What is it edifying? Yo, let's not get so woke that we're dumbed down. You're dumbed down. You trade in one thing for another. Let your awareness make sense. Not just so you can walk around sounding so enlightened. Where is it getting you? And your so-called people. And I say so-called people because as it said, all skin folk ain't kin folk. No, it, it's about the energy. It's about the energy. I don't care who you are. If your energy is off, eh, you're not my people. And even if you're not of my tribe, if you will, that doesn't mean I'm not going to respect you. Respect. Automatic and earned. It's not one extreme or the other. Some is just flat automatic until you lose it. And some, yeah, is earned. We have to stop dealing in extremes. We really do. Balance, balance, balance. It is a thing. It is a key. Let's stop cherry picking how we walk this journey, you know, not at the expense of your right mind and another person's peace. Now, are we responsible for the next person's peace? Mm. To a certain extent. To a certain extent. I'll give you an example. If it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm in the mood to blast some Funkadelic, do I have a right to do that? Of course I do. But do I know people are sleeping, the house is sleeping, my neighbors are sleeping and have to get up in the morning? Is this something that's absolutely necessary? No, I'm not going to blast that music like that. Because I respect the next person's peace. Can I still listen to my Funkadelic? Sure. Put my e um, earbuds in. Not compromising anything. It's as simple as that. So. I've got to go. I hope the message resonates with you. Be the light to those who need to feel the warmth of your shine. And know when to be darkness to those who need to feel the cool of your shade. In all things, there is light. My name is Trinia Murphy, and I am 